<laughs> okay, so who says, uh, uh, so looking at Ed Harris is Jackson Pollock. Somebody said 0%, uh, Jefferson said 80%, somebody else said 90%, tell me why. Norexi, what are you thinking? Do you think he looks 100% yeah. like the guy, 0% like yes, the guy, 50%? I think, yes, I think he represent, represents uh, like 80% uh, because the team face, mm -hmm. um, the way he move um, and do make the, I don't know, the paint, um, mm -hmm. Uh, the clothes. Mm. So it's the same. Uh, the uh, principal uh, people. Mm -hmm. So uh, Pollock. Yeah. Nice. Um, Jefferson, what are you thinking? You've seen the movie all the way through until you fell asleep. No, it was a joke. I didn't see it. Okay. You never, oh, you never saw it. Okay. No, I'm just see the, the 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 actor and I said, oh, I know him. Oh, yep, yeah, he's been in a lot of movies. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Anna, what do you think? Where would you give it his score? Fifty percent, one hundred percent, eighty percent? Ninety percent. Ninety percent. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. So everybody's giving him a pretty high um, score. I said zero percent because I have never seen the 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 movie. But you said real. Yeah, how realistic? I I, I, I understand nothing because I, it's an abstract thing. It's not the realistic. Well, he's, he's acting, so he's trying to, this is the actor playing the character. So my question was, how close do you, to the real person do you think he is? And that's why I was giving him a oh, different okay. score. I yeah. see. It's okay, you're a tough critic. You give him 0%, you give him 0%, no problem. <laughs> uh, but throughout the movie, there's different scenes that depict, he was a complicated person. He suffered from uh, a lot of uh, mental illness, uh, alcoholism. He was a very antisocial person. Oftentimes a very, in the movie, he's depicted as being really difficult to be around, oftentimes abusive. Um, Let's see, here we go. So anyway, uh, I will stop recording. I'll play one more scene and then we'll start looking at the article. Here we go. Pause. Okay, so in that moment when people are walking out of a show, why does he feel misunderstood? Because his painting was different um, than the other dish um, they used to see. Yeah, different from anything that had been before. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. So um, let's this scene where he is. Okay. So this is his partner. Uh, they're reading the review in the newspaper. What's going on? Why is he so? Uh, what's it? How would you describe the way he's moving? when he's, they're reading aloud the reviews of the show. Is he happy? Oh, my name's in the newspaper. Or, is, or would you describe the emotions <laughs> as something else? Tell us, Marissa. He looks like doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. Okay. He so was, you think he doesn't, do you think he doesn't care? It, or it doesn't matter? He just does what he wants? He was so anxious. Anxious, good. Yes, to wait uh, for the result. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off the sound. Here we go. So okay. he, there we go. So look, okay, there we go. Look at the. He so his girlfriend is reading aloud what the article says about a show. A lot of people came and they walked out, and then she's she explains. Now just look at the face. I turn the sound off because I want you to just look at the face. <laughs> What's going on with this guy? <laughs> Give us some words to describe this. Worried. 
worried. Oh yeah, tell us more. Worried, anxious. And they're saying, hey, because it, it, yeah, she's saying, hey, the review's not bad. They're saying this is different and original. And he's saying, <laughs> what's going on with this guy? Uh, there's a lot of mixed feelings. Yeah, he's uh, so picky with his, his pincer. Yeah, he's really picky, really, yeah. He yeah. was expecting more than they 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 write it. Right, he he expects more. He he. What does he want? What do you think? I think because the other people don't look the same way. Well, he he was trying to to show the 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 people on the show. Mm -hmm. He expects to be famous. He expects to be successful. Mm. He expects himself to be famous. Yeah. Very, very good. Um, well, now, right now, uh, I have to watch that movie. I have okay, to. now you have to watch it. I'm going to show you the first yeah. scene. The first scene is him signing autographs at a show when he's already successful. And it goes back to when he's not successful. Now, remember, uh, we learned in the first part of the chapter about the, I showed you, uh, well, I'm, last part of the class, we learned about the Guernica. He's living at a time when Picasso had already pi helped pioneer cubism. So making images with just squares and other shapes had already happened. Um, he, was a, he was painting at the same time of Picasso. Do you think he liked Picasso? Teacher, I can I can say that he can he, he consider that like a failure in. Well, uh, the the show start the movie starts where he's climbing up the stairs and he's drunk. Take a listen to what he says. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, let me uh, stop recording so they don't get me for copyright. Okay. So right at the beginning, we see. He's not famous, nobody knows who he is, and he's, he's stumbling around drunk shouting, F Picasso, F Picasso, F Picasso. So it seems like we already have, he's got this mission, this obsession in his head. He's, Picasso was weird, he's gonna be twice as weird, and he's gonna be famous. So, and then the movie ends, and does he achieve what he wanted to achieve? We shall see. This is him as an old man. So the actor, now is, he looks like he's much older. He's fatter. Mm -hmm. he, he does a pretty good job. How did this actor prepare to play this character? Uh, I'm gonna insert this link uh, into Google Classroom now, because I think that, that link is working. Here we go. Okay, so I hope the link is working. If somebody else has a better way to stream the movie, uh, just share it. All right. So let's read part of the article. 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 Here we go. Here we go. The Boston enemy jumped out. All right. Ultimate Splasher. Okay. Splasher is a play on words because he would splash paint on the canvas. So this is written 22 years ago. UK Guardian, and I want to focus on how he, the how he Ed Harris, uh, got ready for the role, and I'm going to blow this up. Do I have a volunteer reader? Who wants to read? Can you zoom on it, please? Sure, sure. Too small, no problem, no problem. Okay. We'll zoom in a little bit more. Mm -hmm. All right. No For Aries to play Pollock, we create total immersion of the kind method actors love. First, 
He read every biography, Jackson Pollock, an American saga by Stephen Neifert and Gregory Wright Smith provide the, the core of the script. He went to galleries and stared at the paintings. He switched to the unfilled camel cigarettes favored by the artist, and he even gained weight to portray him in his final dissolute years. Beautiful. So for everybody who is watching this recording, uh, the assignment is to watch the movie, write about your impressions of the movie and what the actor did to prepare for the role. Let's just focus on this paragraph because the rest of the article goes into more detail. But let's focus on just this paragraph. Who could tell me what's something that the actor Ed Harris did to prepare for the role? from that paragraph. Trying to paint it like him. Tried to paint like him, sure. But do we, do we know that from- smoke. Yeah, he started smoking unfiltered cigarettes. Yep. He, he, um, he went to gallery and yeah. he, he painting. Yeah, maybe. He, yeah. yeah, went to the galleries to see all of these paintings, like the one behind me. So the actor started to study. He went to look at the paintings. What do you think, Norexi? What do you think was going on in the actor's mind when he was looking at these paintings, getting ready to play the character? He was trying to understand the paintings. Mm. The feeling, you try to understand the feeling in that moment. Right, right. That's essentially what these are. It's that snapshot, what emotion was coming from that person at that moment, which essentially is what abstract expressionism is. It's like, so the, the painter is long dead, but these emotions that he was sharing are going to live on. So, the actor was looking, thinking, okay, how can I become this person? Yeah. So he's, he's starting um, um, smoke cigarettes, he's getting red. Um, he go to the galleries, watching mm -hmm. every painting of the actor. actor exactly. And then he's getting red to, to put him in the situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> this next, this paragraph just before that explains a little bit more detail about the painter and the actor playing the, himself. Um, do I have another volunteer? But this, we'll stop right after this last paragraph. This will give some more information about the painter himself. Uh, yes, Anna, go for it. And this was, remember, this was written 22 years ago when the movie came out. It's surprising that no one has attempted to make a film of Pollock life before now. He was, after all, the American painter who searched for unmediated, unmediated. unmediated self-expression, ended up changing the course of modern art and wrestling the crown from the Europeans. Mm. And beyond his pin penchant for flinging, draping, or pouring paint on gigantic canvases. Gigantic canvases. His life was full of the psychotheatrics. Theatrics, yeah that actors adore, anger, alcoholism, twisted love, abuse, and violent death. So yes, this guy had issues. Clear, this guy, the real painter had a lot of issues. Yeah. Anger, alcoholism, twisted love, abuse, violent death. So the, the human being 
that created the images behind me had a lot going on, but the actor had to essentially become that messed up individual on the screen to make the movie. And it took him 10 years to get ready. And this article is all about that journey for the actor. So that's the assignments. Uh, we can stop right there. Enjoy watching the movie. And uh, when you see the article and you look at, don't just think, oh no, it's so much English. Uh, turn it off. Little by little, little by little, don't worry. Don't be afraid of the English. You got it. You can do this. All right. Yeah. That's the end of class today. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you very much. Very nice. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye everyone. Take care.